Welcome back to the Watch Depot YouTube channel. Today we're thrilled to be taking a look at a really special piece from Seiko. This is the SRPK17K1, which is a modern recreation of Seiko's flagship 1968 watch, the 6106-8120 Sport Diver. This watch is a celebration of 55 years of the Seiko 5 and is limited to 15,555 pieces. This new rendition stays very faithful to its 20th century predecessor. We're holding an almost one-to-one -one recreation here with the main cosmetic difference being this bracelet. Small differences in the text at six o'clock are also found. However, the italicized sports logo stays true to its origin which I really appreciate. Other details on the plain black dial include the Seiko logo, and below that, the vintage Seiko 5 logo. A day date window sits at three with this really cool bordering around it. Batons mark each hour around the dial, and those batons are filled with some Seiko diver strength loom. So some really strong loom right there. Behind these batons and surrounding the entire dial are more markers which mirror the markings on the bi-directional bezel. Between these markings and the bezel is a curved mirrored surface which I assume is polished stainless steel. All of these small details add up to a great look in my opinion, one with spirit and class. Now looking at the hands which are straight and narrow. They have some lurite found in the middle. The hour and minute hands have this ridge going down the center so that each half reflects light a little differently. It's a nice detail that you really have to see in person to appreciate. I'm loving the red second hand here and it includes a small dot of loom as well. Now the movement inside is your standard Seiko 5 automatic movement, the 4R36, which affords a 41 hour power reserve. Case dimensions read 39.5 millimeters in diameter, 43.1 millimeters lug to lug, and 12.5 mil thick. Case shape closely resembles that of a Prospect's turtle, but it's less pronounced and you get some really cool edges and a combination of polished and brushed finishes. Overall, I'd say there's a very pleasant design language found throughout this watch. Vintage recreations are no stranger to the modern watch world, but I think Seiko have done a great job with this model. The entire aesthetic screams late 60s slash early 70s, even with the addition of the updated bracelet. In fact, I'd say this style of bracelet is much more indicative of that era, but that's just my opinion. The Seiko 5 lineup is likely one of the most well-known families of watches, both inside and outside of the watch community. They're known for their reliability, durability, and value, with the five representative of the five features found in every Seiko 5. These are, of course, the automatic movement, day-date display, water resistance, the recessed crown, and a durable case and bracelet. So there you have it, 55 years later, and Seiko re-release an absolute belter of a watch. I'm really loving this one, but let me know what you think by dropping a comment below. Would you wear this watch? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, do hit that like button and subscribe for more watch content. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.